Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. We continue to review Yumidigi A1 Pro smartphone, and today I want to talk about its performance, show you benchmark results, and play some games. We already made unboxing and first review. You can find this video by the link in description. First of all, I want to note that Yumidigi A1 Pro is ultra-budget smartphone. It is powered by entry-level chipset MediaTek MT6739 with maximum clock speed of 1.5 GHz. It is coupled with 3 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal memory with microSD card support up to 256 gigs. In general, the hardware is good for everyday tasks, messengers, and other apps. 3 gigs of RAM provides smooth and fast user interface and good multitasking. By the way, you can use split screen function to divide the screen into two parts for different apps. So, Yumidigi A1 Pro is excellent for everyday tasks. But what about games? First, I want to show you benchmarks and then play some games. Let's start with most popular benchmark test for Android devices called Antutu. It shows only 45,000 points. It is pretty low result for the smartphone from 2018. In Hikbench 4, Yumidigi A1 Pro scores about 660 points in single core test and 1800 points in multi core test. The next benchmark provides information about 3D capabilities of mobile device. 3D mark shows 4160 points. The last test I want to show you is memory speed. Here you can see 260 megabit per second of reading speed and 50 megabit per second of writing speed. So, after all these tests, I can say that Yumidigi A1 Pro is entry-level smartphone with quite low performance. However, I don't notice big problems with user interface. Now, let's play some games. I want to start with most popular and heavy game for Android called PUBG Mobile. This is mobile game with open world, so you need quite powerful device to play it. Fortunately, Yumidigi A1 Pro runs it, and you can even play. However, there is a problem with textures. My character is half invisible. Maybe I have an invisibility clock. Nevertheless, you can play PUBG Mobile on Yumidigi A1 Pro, but you should be prepared for the problems with textures. The next game called Real Racing 3. To be honest, I'm tired of Asphalt 8, so I decided to play another racing game. So here is Real Racing 3. First, I recommend you to choose low graphics settings. The game runs pretty good. FPS is ok, but time to time you can notice small lags, but this is not a problem. So you can comfortably play this game on Yumidigi A1 Pro. The last game is Shadow 5 3. As you may notice, I specifically choose different genres of games. This is fighting game, just like Taken, Mortal Kombat and others. Once again, it doesn't make any problems for this budget phone. FPS is ok, graphics good, there are no slowdowns. So, what can I say about performance of Yumidigi A1 Pro? Yes, it is ultra-budget phone with entry-level hardware. Also, it shows pretty low results in benchmarks. From other side, I don't notice any problems with user interface and launching popular apps such as Messengers, YouTube and others. You can even play latest Android games on this phone, such as PUBG Mobile. Yeah, there are problems with textures, and from time to time FPS may drop, but it is possible to play heavy games on $100 phone, and I'm very excited about this. Thanks for watching! In coming days, we will publish camera and battery tests of Yumanigi A1 Pro. 
The links will be in description. Thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.